okay the preset we are using unity 2019.2 in the description of this video you will find a github link that contains a starting package and in the end the finished package in the starting package we have this stone floor texture by zugzug art i hope they pronounce it correctly and also uh, some kenny assets mainly the grave yard kit and the medieval kit okay i have only preset the camera to have this solid color background for now let's create a new game object called dungeon generator okay we also need a script folder so let's create a new folder called scripts and here let's create a dungeon creator script let's open it up this will be a mono behavior script we need some public variables so let's create a couple of integer variables mainly dungeon width and length We also need integer values for room width mean and room length mean. So let's create those. And last two values, we need public int max iterations and public int corridor width. Okay. And now in the start methods, let's or create a dungeon using alt enter you can generate this method and here we will want to call dungeon generator generator equals new dungeon generator next we want to call var room of list of rooms equals generator calculate rooms and here we will uh, pass max iterations room width min and room length min okay and let's using alt enter create those uh, this class generate a new file and in the constructor we will want to pass room uh, dungeon width and dungeon height so let's pass it and let's generate this constructor as well alt enter generate constructor and also calculate rooms generate method calculate rooms okay great let's open the dungeon generator so let's make it into a public class and dungeon generator we're basically call all the helper methods to create our rooms and to create our corridors and to divide our space at this beginning so this will be the main class of our generator we need to create two additional private variables let's create room node called root node and also list of room nodes called all space nodes equals new list now we need to call using system collection generics and create this room node in a separate file and we can call here using unity engine we will need it soon okay now let's go to the room node Let's open this file and room node will be a type of node. So let's make it into public and let's make it inherit from node. And let's alt enter, generate type node in a new file. And let's in turn open the node. So let's make it into an, an abstract class. And we will we'll need some parameters here, some variables. First will be private list of nodes, children node list. Okay, we need to be using gen, uh, system collection generics. And let's alt enter all children node list. 
and, and encapsulate but still use fields this will create our getter we don't want a setter so let's delete this okay next we will need to be using unity engine great and below the list of nodes we will create a prop so let's use snippet prop it will be bool and visited will be the name okay another prop vector 2 int it and we will create bottom left area corner top right area corner so each corner of our mesh as the mesh will be a rectangular space so let's create bottom left area corner another will be top uh, bottom right area corner another will be vector 2 int top right area corner another will be vector 2 int top left area corner great another one will be an integer value it will be an index in our tree structure that we will soon create so let's call it tree layer index next we will create a constructor using another snippet a ctor and here we want to pass node as a parent node so we need to add another property above of type node it will be called parent okay back in the constructor we will create our children node list equals new list node okay and we'll call this dot parent equals parent node great and if parent is different than null we'll create parent parent node dot add child and we'll call this so let's alt enter create this method generate method here and add child will simply add a child to our children list so children children node list dot add node and last method here will be private void remove child we will pass it a node node and we will simply remove our child from the list okay so let's make those two methods public and basically this represents a structure of type node and this node will be used to build our tree structure so the tree structure will have one root and the every another node will be a child child of some parent and will have a parent and will could have children of its own so the children will be stored here in the child node list although we will have only two children per node so now we can go back to our room node and implement specific values for this room node okay let's here create a constructor and it will call base and we will need to pass it a node so let's here pass some variables uh, so here we will pass the corners of our uh, room node so we will need to be using using unity engine and we will be passing the vector to int first will be bottom left area corner second will be vector to int top right area corner third parameter will be node parent node and third will and fourth will be int index and parent node will be passed to our base method to our base constructor okay and we will need to set those up so we have the bottom left equals bottom left great this top right area corner equals top right area corner great 
and we will preset the remaining two corners bottom right equals new vector to int then we will reuse the top right area corner x and bottom left area corner y so we're presetting the values for the remaining corners so uh, top left equals new vector to int and we'll call bottom left area corner x and top right area corner y so we should have a rectangle now and we need to preset that this three layer index equals index and here we will have additional two properties so let's use snippet prop and this will be integer and called it with okay and it will be only a getter we use lambda expression and it will be integer value of top right area corner dot x minus bottom left area corner dot x or whichever corner you prefer we want to get the width of our rectangle another prop will be our length so this is int and call it length okay and this will be also only a getter and here we will get the integer value of the same top right area corner y minus bottom left area corner y okay and that's it for the room node let's go back to the dungeon generator